how much your girl just got wired. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up with Coco and Chanel. <laughs> She's being featured today. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your post notification and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Keeping Up with Coco underscore. That's K U W C O C O underscore. And you can follow Chanel at Baby Chanel underscore K. Right? <laughs> so today I'm coming and I'm going to tell you guys just basically what's been going on you know nothing big nothing major except for the fact that I came up on eight thousand dollars like two days ago and I'm just like I keep it to myself you know which I could or I could share and I just want to put a little disclaimer I'm gonna to have to start throwing disclaimers in all my videos I'm not bragging basically I'm just coming on here to share with you guys because I watched let me push it now down okay because it's about to get serious in here I looked at my YouTube analytics and I know you guys love these videos these sugar baby videos sugar daddy videos getting money from these niggas period so I'm like, I'm going to cut the vlogs short because you guys are not interested. I'm just going to give you guys what you guys want. And so the other day, uh, after I posted that whole OnlyFans video, I got a lot of reactions. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you go and you watch that video right away. Okay, because I made $2,000 in less than two weeks. And if you are quarantined at home and you are you know going broke and if you didn't get no stimulus check you know if your bank wasn't stimulated you can stimulate it yourself and make some money of only fans just my suggestion okay, so last November I had got an email from this guy and basically he just was telling me how he ran across my Twitter and he basically emailed me and he thought I was really cute mind you I was in Miami so if you were following me last year Back when I was in um, Miami for my, was it my birthday? No, I just went out to Miami for vacation and they were having the whole carnival. I was out in Miami and I basically got this email from this guy. And he was like, oh, I came across your Twitter. I think you're beautiful, blah, 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 blah. And like, I didn't respond to him till I got back to Boston from my vacation. So um, I basically, I emailed him back and um, he basically introduced himself. Unfortunately, I can't really like say any names. I can't really describe because people are gonna Google shit and find out, and I don't, I can't. But basically, he emailed me. He came across my Twitter. He thought I was really pretty. He thought I was beautiful, and um, he said, you know, if I'm interested, maybe, you know, we could chat back and forth and you know if we like any like each other he plans on coming to Boston in a couple of months and um you know we could get together have dinner blah blah blah, blah. so I was like okay whatever I saw the email I didn't respond so when I got back to Boston I realized that um he had emailed me twice and I guess the first email I didn't see but I saw the second email so I ended up emailing him back and I gave him my um, WhatsApp number. I said, let's communicate through WhatsApp. So we were communicating, blah, blah, blah. And he was saying like, oh, he's this, he's this person. Like he's a very well-known person and he's the CEO of this um, car company. I can't really, you know, just let me just say it's a very, 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 luxury car okay you know it's like the fancy car like Tiger a car that Tiger would have or a car that Kylie Jenner would have it's a very expensive car okay like girl we can't afford that shit okay you don't it's not a regular car that you see on a regular day um so basically he was like describing himself and telling me all about himself and like I didn't you know so I was like okay well how do I know that you are who you say you are and he's like I'll send you my passport like I'll send you my ID and I'll send you my passport so you know because as soon as he said who he was the first thing I did was Google him like you can Google this nigga and he will pop up and you will see him with so many freaking models like 
so many models but I'm just like you don't know if it's true or not so I'm like okay I need you to prove to me that it's you before we even continue this conversation so then he was like okay I'll send you my passport so he sent me a picture of his passport I'm like okay but anybody can you know fake a passport so then he was like well we can FaceTime each other um, if that would make me make you feel comfortable so it's like i already googled him so i already know what you're supposed to look like so if that's not who i see on my screen oh and i told him to send me a selfie he sent me a selfie too i'm like if that's not who i see on my facetime i'm hanging up blocking a number word like never then i facetime in and <laughs> would you believe it it actually was him and i was like shocked and i was just like <laughs> I'm like, come on, dad. You don't keep the fuck up. Period. I'm like, shit. Period. I was just like, oh, shit. Like, and at this point in time, I didn't have that many followers. So it's just like, damn, how did he come across my Twitter? Like, um, so once I realized it was actually him, personality had to change, you know? So I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh wow, that's so awesome. So we just started talking about where he lives and how he has this beautiful home and blah, 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 like, you know. So basically he was like, so I'm gonna be coming to Boston in a couple of months. I'd really, 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 you know, if you would like to join me for dinner, it'd be nice, you know. I'm like, okay, cool. So my whole thing is like, when you know someone has a lot of money, like, are you going to play dumb or are you going to play smart? Okay, because I don't know. I'm not a dumb bitch. Okay, far from it. Far from it. Far from it, okay? I know he has a lot of money, right? You reach now. You want to take me out to dinner? Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to need my nails done. I'm going to need my toes done. I'm going to need to buy some outfits. Not maybe a shoe. You know, like, I'm going to need some money, hello, to look good before I come to dinner. Like, so, what's up? So, I basically, like, expressed it to him, you know, clearly not in that way. But I was just like, yeah, you know, I would actually really love to. Um, I just need for you to basically provide for me to get all dolled up, you know, so I look to your standards. <laughs> so... This man, okay, this man sent me seven fucking thousand dollars because I asked him for money so I could get my nails done, my feet done, my hair done, blah, blah, blah. A couple months down the road, we stayed in connection. Time for him to come to Boston. He wasn't able to make it. So basically, he canceled and he told me to keep the seven thousand dollars. I was just like, period, bitch. Period. Honestly, that's how I was even able to move into this apartment because I was saving and um, I had just filled out the application to move in here and um, it just randomly it all worked out because he reached out and basically he saved me my down payment that I was going to put towards the apartment and basically the money he sent me was the down payment that I used for my apartment. So $7,000, that's already the first time, okay? So Tuesday, two, two days ago, um, he emailed me and basically told me how he has been trying to reach out to me because, um, you know, basically he has been, I changed my number basically and then the WhatsApp that he was reaching me out on, I haven't logged into it in quite some time. So he has been texting me and I haven't been responding. So, he basically emailed me again and asked me where I have been and what I've been doing and why, you know, I haven't been responding to him and he hopes everything is okay. And he's like, you know, with the situation that's going on, like, you know, he's trying to make sure that I'm okay. <laughs> it was like nine o'clock in the morning when I got his email. I'm like, oh shit, I forgot about this dude. Let me 
text him back. So I immediately texted him back like, hey, sorry, you know, I just haven't really been, um, I was like, oh yeah, I, ch I did change my number because he asked if I changed my number. I was like, oh yeah, I did change my number. Um, sorry, you know, uh, I've just been kind of low key and just chilling with everything that's going on, blah, 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 blah. So then he's like, okay, cool. He just wanted to check on me and make sure I'm okay. And then he's like, well, not only does he want to make sure I'm okay, he wants to make sure I'm better than okay. Now, listen, ladies now, ladies, 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 okay? Y'all gotta be smart, okay? Y'all got to be smart. If you know somebody has money, Okay, because there's so many times I have missed out on opportunity, money, because I wanted to tell the truth. Like, I'm a very honest person, but now I know is, there's a time and place for the truth. Okay, certain times you just, you just don't need to tell people the truth. Okay, he asked me if I was okay. I could have said, yeah, I'm fine. I'm in the house. I got weed. I have liquor. I have food. I have cable, like, I have my bills to pay. Like, I could have said, I'm fine, I'm chilling, I'm just waiting for outside to open. Like, you know, I could have just said that, but I'm smart. <laughs> I'm smart, okay? I know this man has money, okay? He just gave me $7,000 not too long ago, right? Not too long ago, he just gave me $7,000. He was supposed to meet me canceled and told me to keep the money and said when he's coming back to Boston, he's going to send me another one so I can basically do those preparations all over again. That $7,000 to him is like $7. Like that's like me giving away $7 or like me giving away $10. That's in my budget to give away. You know, it's in my budget to give away maybe a hundred dollars. It's in my budget, maybe see, but I'm not giving nobody no thousand dollars unless you're gonna pay me back. I'm not giving nobody two thousand dollars unless you're gonna pay me back. Like unless I'm buying something from you. I know, I know, I know, I know for a fact. If he let me go with seven thousand dollars and didn't ask me for nothing, hasn't even met me yet. Oh, he gonna give me some money if I tell him that you know i'm stressing because of the whole pandemic you know what i'm saying so i told him like yes i'm stressing honey i've been quarantining and i went on vacation before the whole shutdown you know i'm stressed i'm depressed like i'm such an outsy person and this whole thing has me stuck in the house and you know like i don't know like i don't know he's like oh how can I help? But I was like, I don't know. A little bit of therapy, like, you know, maybe some online therapy would be nice. <laughs> and he's like, okay, you know what? I got you. And then I didn't even tell him how much I wanted. I didn't ask. He didn't ask. And I didn't tell him. I just said, thank you, sir. Um, I really appreciate it. Let me know once you send the money bitch then he sent that form <sighs> he forwarded the form from his assistant and then she said eight thousand dollars bitch i was just like period finesse game too strong too strong okay Fuck it. my finesse game is too strong, huh? okay? He wants it not really finessing because he did it from the kind of his kindness of his heart. I didn't finesse it. He did it from the kindness of his heart, okay? And his whole thing was I've always been nice to him, like because I would like reach out, hey hon, how are you? I hope everything is okay. Like, you know, I've always he, I've been nothing but nice to him, even though he never met me. So he thinks we're friends. Like he went out of his way to check on me and so now i know <laughs> for a fact if i ever 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 was into some shit or like in a really bad situation i know who the fuck to call okay daddy got me period <laughs> 
Period, okay? Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the amount right there, but it's right there. It tells you. See our conversation a little bit. But yeah, that's how much your girl just got wired. <laughs> And that's how much your girl just got wired two days ago, <laughs> period. And for the guys, because some of you guys came across my last video and you were reaching out and asking me for my OnlyFans. If you want my OnlyFans, you have to follow me on Instagram at Keeping Up With Coco underscore. That's K U W C O C O underscore. And direct message me if you would like a link to my OnlyFans. Now, I have to make sure that you are a real person. If you try to message me from a fake profile page, you ain't getting it. So another thing that I'm going to start doing is basically selling tips because I realize a lot of you guys are messaging me on Instagram and you guys are not serious and I'm taking my time and I'm responding to your messages and you guys are not serious. Some of you guys need to leave space for the people that are really serious so if you are serious about becoming a sugar baby or making money as a sugar baby or how to meet rich men older men and how to get eight thousand dollars in your bank account send me an email or follow me on instagram at keeping up with coco underscore that's k-u-w-c-o-c-o -C -O underscore and if you are serious, it will be a $20 fee and I will give you my entire tip, okay? Baby, I'll write you a whole book, sis. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna basically just write down some notes and put it in a book and I'm going to sell that for $20. If that is something that you guys are interested in, make sure you stay subscribed and make sure you follow me on Instagram at Keeping Up With Coco so that you don't miss when that comes out. Once I get to a thousand subscribers, I am giving away a hundred dollars. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notification, thumbs up this video, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Bye.